Hello everyone, this is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Technical Analyst here at IronFX Global, bringing you the technical updates for March uh, 26th. Today I would like to talk about Euro Sterling, which managed to move above the resistance line of 0.7370, and about gold, which reached the psychological uh, barrier of uh, 1200 and uh, moved slightly above it. So let's see the technical picture of uh, Euro Sterling first. Euro Sterling continued to raise higher yesterday and today during the Asian morning it managed to move above the resistance now turned into support uh, barrier of 0.7370 which happens to be the 61.8% retracement level of uh, the 3rd of February until the 11th of March uh, down move. I would now expect the bulls to pull the trigger and target the 76.4% retracement line at 0.7455. As long as the rate is trading above the uptrend line taken from the low of the 11th of March and above the downtrend line drawn from the peak of the 3rd of February, the short term bias stays positive in my view. However, I believe that the broader trend is still negative. After the downside exit of uh, the triangle pattern on the 8th, of December, the price structure has been lower peaks and lower troughs below both the 50 and the 200 uh, day moving averages. And so with no major bullish trend reversal signals on the daily chart, I would see the short term uptrend as a corrective move of the larger negative path. Now let's continue with the precious metal. Gold continued to trade higher on Wednesday and today during the Asian morning it managed to emerge above the round figure of uh, 1200. Since the yellow metal uh, is still trading above the downtrend line taken uh, from the peak of the 22nd of January, I believe that the short term outlook remains positive. In my view, the move above uh, the key barrier of 1200 could aim for the next resistance at uh, 1210, defined by the peak of the 5th of March. Our daily oscillators support the short term picture. The 14 day RSI continued to raise higher and moved above its uh, 50 line while the daily MACD already above its trigger points up and is getting closer to its uh, zero line. As for the bigger picture, since the peak at 1307, the price structure has been lower highs and lower lows. And even if we see the precious metal trading, trading higher in the near future, the possibility for a lower high still exists. For that reason, I would consider the recovery from around 1140 as a corrective move, at least uh, for now. So that's it for today. For more analysis and charts, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Haralamos Pissuros, Senior Technical Analyst at IronFX Global, wishing you solid trading.